let's pivot a bit to your own uh, entrepreneur journey. Uh, yes. you, had, you had an impressive career and all of a sudden you decided you've got the confidence to go out and do it yourself. <laughs> so tell us a bit about that because that is what our listeners are on the verge of doing. Yes, I'm happy to share. You know, it was kind of this evolution. You know, when I was younger, I had always been very passionate about figuring out ways to earn money for myself and always had that entrepreneurial heart. My problem was is I didn't know what ideas, what business ideas I could start. Mm. And so I have to really look back at my career that really was the foundation of giving me, you know, the heart and the passion to start Atlas Park. And so, as I mentioned earlier, I had experienced layoffs in my career, and that shook me to the core in terms of a company can just decide my financial livelihood, like that's too much power. And so what I decided to do about 2016 is to figure out kind of what my business was going to be. And so I went through this whole business planning process, I actually hired a business coach to help me visualize, you know, where I see myself. And then I had a notebook and I started jotting down different ideas. Um, I started reading a book called, um, oh, it's uh, The Personal MBA by Josh yes. Kaufman. Oh, what a fabulous Phenomenal, book. phenomenal I, I, book. I no longer need to get my MBA. <laughs> <laughs> right, after you read that Ooh. book. <laughs> yes. And it just opened up my world to yeah. the possibilities. And so I went through that business planning process, you know, ideation and what services could you offer and coming up with a minimum viable product and what that looked like. And that was really uh, the fire that I needed to continue on. And so when it was then time for me to launch uh, in October of 2018, I was ready to go mm. and I had everything in place. Now, had I figured everything out? No, but I had enough that said this idea this service for financial advisors is going to be so impactful. You've got to do this. And I never look back and I'm going into year four. 